This museum in the Fisherman's Wharf neighborhood of San Francisco has one of the most amazing collection of penny arcade games anywhere in the world. There are over 300 machines in here and I'm gonna show you around this arcade. Now, all of the machines here take quarters and they're less the video game variety and much more the penny arcade variety. What do I mean by that? Well, one of their most iconic is Laughing Sal right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some coins in Laughing Sal so you can see here. We're gonna put a quarter in right there and we're gonna put another quarter in right there and we're gonna do that. And let's go ahead and see from here laughing sal go that's right yeah a good 50 cents of history well spent laughing sal was here in san francisco from 1940 to 1972. now let's take a look at some of the other things they have in this arcade if you want to hear more of laughing sal they actually have cds that you can buy of that soundtrack just to go now all of these on the wall these are old penny arcade machines that currently operate on quarters. Most of the things here run from 25 cents to $2, depends on what it is. Here is an old piano from 1915. Here is Jolly Jack, not Laughing Sal, but Jolly Jack, a very rare old Swiss music box. This one is titled Execution. Right here, we've got what looks to be like another old music box. Like, look at this um, whole kind of musical instrument. This is the Opium Den. Opium Den is cheaper, 25 cents. Now, the magic hat right here. What do you think the magic hat does? Let's check this out. Insert two quarters into acceptor. So let's go ahead and put our quarters into the acceptor. We'll put that in, select house and play button. So let's do Ravenclaw. Hello, so glad you stopped by. I can see you are a happy person. Remember, if you can laugh at yourself, you will never cease to be amused. There we go. You were born under a lucky star and your fantasies will continue to come true. Your luck lies to the east, your fortune awaits you in the west. A cancer sparks your interest, but a Gemini steals your heart. So that is like Zoltar, except the magic hat version. Here's something that's really big. This is Cactus Gulch, Last Chance Saloon. There are also, in addition to like these, you know, penny arcade games, now cost 50 cents, there's pinball machine, there's an old Star Wars machine, there's kind of classic arcade games like Cruisin', Exotica, Cruisin' USA, Rush 2049. Here's some people playing Indiana Jones off on the side. You can play skee ball, though I will point out that if you win anything, um, there's no tickets. You can't like redeem them for anything back here. We've got Pac-Man in the corner. We've got basketball. We've got Centipede. We've got some old classic games that are back here. And you know what's really neat is they all work. We've got Galaxian, Tekken, Space Invaders, X-Men, Street Fighter, one of my favorite pinball machines, the Adams Family. This place reminds me a little bit of the Pinball Hall of Fame Museum in Las Vegas, though less pinball and more of these classic games. These are ones that you like look in here and you turn this knob to see different things that are in there. There's a shooting game right here. They've got these really big dioramas that you put your 75 cents in this one and all these different figures in here move and play music. They're pretty cool. You can play golf for 25 cents. Drop the coin in the slot. Uh, you can see the belly dancer, what the belly dancer does on her day off. Are you curious what the belly dancer does on her day off? You can see the bimbo box with all these monkeys right here. Now this place, every time I've been here before, has been packed with people. This pier that it's on is right behind Boudin Bakery uh, in the heart of Fisherman's Wharf and within eyeshot of 
Alcatraz. Actually, where I started the video going in through that door, uh, you could see Alcatraz just off in the distance. So tons of people file through here. I think the sort of the end of pandemic is still keeping people away. So if you are coming to San Francisco in the near future, definitely check this place out when you can have it all to yourself and see the old barn dance. You can see the circus right here. I mean, this is just a little bit of classic Americana that I've, I've again, never been to a place that has all of these classic games. You can test your strength right here with the hammer, although there's no hammer and they've made it slightly different. It's, it's down there. They let you just kind of do it with that because I think when people hit it with the hammer, it ends up breaking it and there's no admission fee. You just walk in, it's free, but uh, you know, put a few dollars in the quarter machine and get some quarters. Support this place for being able to keep these games operating in great condition for all of us to enjoy for years, years and years to come. And even play Pirates of the Caribbean pinball machines. I want to show you just out the door that it is in fact in the eye shot of Alcatraz. And you can see there is Alcatraz just right down there. Now, if you like these kinds of games, you might also really like the Pinball Hall of Fame Museum in Las Vegas. I got a whole walking tour of that place with hundreds of pinball machines. But if you're coming to San Francisco and you want to see more of my San Francisco videos, like what to see, what to do, where to stay, I can point you to my whole San Francisco playlist right here. Check that out. And as usual, I won't say goodbye because I'll see you over in some of these videos.